Kashgar, a welcome respite between the vast Taklamakan Desert and the daunting Pamir Mountains. But just beneath the surface, Kashgar is ready to explode. Many Uyghur believe their way of life is under threat from the Chinese government. Depending on who you ask, China either occupied or liberated Xinjiang province in 1949. Since then, China has poured money into Kashgar's infrastructure, building plazas, topiary, and the largest statue of Mao in all of China. There's even a Ferris wheel, an amusement park. But they also imported millions of Han Chinese with promises of cheap land and loans for businesses in an effort to dilute the local culture. In 1950, Han Chinese were less than 1% of Xinjiang's population. Now, they're almost half. Some of the Uyghur responded by forming an independence movement and committing acts of violence. The Chinese government clamped down hard. They've forbidden local women to wear veils. And installed x-ray machines on almost every corner even at the entrance to local supermarkets. They've curtailed the local language and religious observation. But worst of all, the government was determined to wipe out Kashgar's beating heart, its ancient mud brick city. Marco Polo would have felt right at home here over 900 years ago. In 2009, the Chinese government announced that the buildings were an earthquake hazard, as well as a breeding ground for Uyghur nationalism and violent insurrection. Over 85% of the old city has been demolished, with more disappearing every day. leaving one small section as a living museum, a tourist attraction. The residents are compensated and moved to modern apartments with running water and garbage collection. But many just want to go home. China is hell-bent on economic development. And like it or not, Kashgar is coming along for the ride. The Uyghur and other minorities must find a way to modernize on their terms, while still preserving their culture and heritage. Or their children will have no more place in this world than the camel caravans that once roamed this ancient land.